What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I didn't really look at myself when I was getting ready and I just threw my hair up in something because it was blending in with my shirt. And I look so conservative. I'm like, if I hide the tattoos, hello, I'm here to, I don't know, be your accountant or something. Hi, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all good. In today's video, I have a big old basket of Shop Miss A makeup. I would also like to add, I am nuts today. I ordered a decaf coffee, because caffeine sends me crazy. And I don't think it was decaf, so it sent me a little bit crazy. But yeah, I'm, I'm shaking, like, I'm not putting this on. I am literally, like, my hands are just like, uh, so if my makeup looks crap today, I'm gonna blame it on the shaky hands. But yeah, today, like I said, I have a full face of Shop Miss A makeup. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago and I've just been dying to chuck it on my face. I love Shop Miss A. If you guys don't know about Shop Miss A, how many times do I wanna say Shop Miss A? Shop Miss A, Shop Miss A, Shop Miss A. Try and say it three times in a row. It's basically an American website that do super cheap stuff. Like they don't just do makeup, they do other beauty products and skincare and stuff. They do things like headbands, hair accessories, jewelry. I feel like they do knickers as well. And it's like cheap. I'm talking like $1 a product, which is what, like 70p, maybe even less with a conversion rate now um, for a product. I'm pretty sure everything they stock is always cruelty free as well, which is cool. But yeah, they do a bunch of different brands. They have a lot of their own brands. Like they have the AOA Studio, they have Amuse. Santi, and also one of their new brands, which is A2O, I think, I don't know. But yeah, they do like tons and tons of different products. And I've tried out some of their products before. A lot of them are so, so good. You definitely get some duds, but nine times out of 10, a lot of the products are just banging. The customs, I mean, it's been a little while since I paid for all this, but the customs really wasn't too bad. I feel like I maybe paid 20 pounds in customs and I bought quite a lot of stuff. And I mean, I didn't really mind paying that for customs because all the products are so bloody cheap. But yeah, basically I picked up a whole load of new stuff that I hadn't tried from them before and I'm gonna be chucking it on my face. So, my conservative ass is gonna do this and we're gonna get into the video. I am literally holding my hands still and they are shaking. Okay, swing. Okay, so I have quite a lot of bright eyeshadow palettes to try out today. I probably won't be able to get through all of them but I'm kind of thinking might have to do something a bit bright. I really am looking at this matte storm palette from Santi. It's like purples and greens. Honestly, please just ignore how shaky I am. Like, I don't know if it will, I can't even, I'm gonna have to do my cutaways like later on because I am just all over the place. First of all, I'm gonna go in with this brow pencil here. It's called the Slim Brow Pencil. Uh, I think I just got it in like dark brown. Yeah, dark brown. And I really don't need to do too much to my brows. So I'm just gonna brush them through. I am gonna slick them up in a minute, but I'm just gonna fill in a couple of gaps. Let's have a look. Nice thin nib. That's a really, really soft brow pencil that's like, I mean, it's filled in my brows a tiny little bit, but without it looking blocky. I've never done this kind of thing to my hair before, by the way. I did it literally in about 30 seconds because I thought I'd just try something different, but I quite like it. Tell you what, I have zero complaints with that brow pencil. That is really, really good and so bloody cheap. So now I'm just gonna quickly go in with my ABH, uh, whatever it's called, the brow free stuff, which I am obsessed with. Just to slick them up a bit, cause I've been liking slightly more spiky brows again recently. Look at that. Look at it, it's so good. It's mad because that product is probably worth about the same amount of money of all the makeup that I'm gonna put on my face. Oh yeah. So now I think one of the only things I actually don't have from Shop Miss A is a concealer to try out. Slick back my hair. So I don't have an eye primer or anything to try out, so I'm just taking some of my Bye Bye Under Eye because I always use this stuff to be honest on my eyes. It's like a really, really good tacky base. Woo! Oh man, what do I do? I do really kind of like the look of this. Did I even formulate a sentence then? Probably not. I feel like I'm looking at this palette and I might try a couple of colors from it in a minute, but I'm also really, really drawn to this one here. Just that lime green is just calling my name. It's like, Steph, Steph. And I'm like, yes, okay, I'll put you on my face. Swatch. Okay, it looks a bit more, hmm. Ha. Huh. It looks way more like chalky and shit than I was hoping it would. Like, ah. I might just roll with it though. I'm just gonna try it. Maybe I'll do like purples. And if I need to, I can use the purples in this palette as well and do the green on my inner corner. First, I'm gonna start off with this lighter purple shade here. There's a lot of kickback, but we can make it work. Okay, witness my shaky hands. So, I'm gonna whack that right in my crease. Okay, that is pretty sheer, I'm not gonna lie. 
I mean, why would I lie about something like that? But, ooh, okay. I'm just gonna go in hard with it and see what the hell happens. I mean, you can, it's, you can see it, kind of, but not really. I'm putting quite a lot on there as well. Just looks really, it looks like a m crap, really. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush here. Let me try a different brush. I'm not too fussed right now because I'm only using this shade as a transition. But I'm not loving it so far. I'm gonna dust off my brush and I'm gonna go in with that bright pink shade. Cause surely that looks pretty intense to me. So come on, come on. I'm gonna whack that right in my crease there. Like this is what I actually wanted to do. They're quite chalky, but at least this one's a bit brighter. It's still not as bright as I would like it though. I'm gonna go in with like a really dense brush and just lay it on thick with three C's. They're really blendy, but not in a good way. Like, what's that? How is that color the same as that color? I don't think so. You know what, I'll take a bit of this shade actually. This is from the Santi palette. Just drop the brush on the floor. Try that one instead, because that's actually less intense in the pan. It's definitely better. I'm, I'm still, they are really, really cheap eyeshadow palettes, which doesn't mean they can't be good, but it also means that you're probably not gonna get like the most insane quality you've ever gotten. For the price, it's absolutely fine. Like, good to be honest, but not something I would ne necessarily, Nicholas Cage, not necessarily something I would recommend. I'm gonna take this shade here now. I'm just using the same brush, because to be honest, they're all just kind of blending in together. And I'm gonna pat that all over my lid. See, look, I've picked up quite a lot of product there and it's just not, it's doing something, but not really doing that much. And yeah, all the colors are just blending in with one another, but not in a good way. It's a little bit better on my finger, but still like, I'm just, I'm not really loving any of this. Yeah, I mean, that's all just blending into one really, isn't it? I'm trying to get some sort of color gradient going on, but it just ain't having it. So I'm just gonna kind of do what my eyeshadow is wanting to do and just blend it all in, just as one whole thing. I'm gonna really blow out the edges there because then I'll just clear it up with a wipe. Oh, it's getting like patchy here now as well. I'm gonna give that a hard pass. This palette is a bit better, but this one not so good. I'm gonna come back and do the lime green in a minute. I'm just gonna clean that up first. Okay guys, I'm gonna go and do the other eye and then I'll check back with you guys and we'll do the rest. Okay, I'm back. I don't mind how this looks so far. Why are you screaming, Pepe? I literally just fed you. So the primer I'm gonna go in with this guy here it is the Clean Slate Primer. They have a bunch of different ones like this. This is a lightweight uh, primer, melts right into your skin, leaving it silky smooth while extending makeup wear. Sounds good to me, dude. Oh, it has gone everywhere. It smells like medicine. I kinda like it. Hydrate me, moisturize me. Oh, that feels good. That feels exactly like the kind of primer that I like. Hydrating, leaves like a bit of a residue on your skin, which I personally like, makes my skin more glowy. Yeah, 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 I'm into that. So now I have two different foundations. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with the BB cream because it looks like it'll probably match me a little bit better. They didn't have too many colors on the website. Like a lot of the times the colors that I wanna go for, they are just out of stock. So I went for the BB cream in the shade light. And yeah, I really don't know how light this is gonna be. Looks all right. So I'm gonna use my weird little Sigma brush, which is like this triangle looking one. I should be all right by the time I bronze it up. We'll see. We shall see. I've tried some foundations from Shop Miss A and they've actually been pretty decent. Like maybe not the right color, but the foundation formula is actually really good. But I've also tried some that have just been some of the worst that I've tried. So who knows how this will go. It's not the easiest thing to blend out, but it doesn't look half bad on my skin. My skin is doing pretty good at the moment, so I don't feel like it needs much coverage at all, really. But it's just kind of giving me enough. It's definitely not like a tinted moisturizer in a sense that it's not super, super lightweight. You know, it's covering up any little marks that I have. I've got a bit of dry skin on my chin. It is picking up on that a tiny bit, but again, not too bad, really. I've got one more red spot here. I'm just gonna stab that onto. Stab, 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 stab. And you can see it has 
sort of diminished it a bit. I'm actually going to take a little bit on my finger as well, just to see how it applies like that, so I can get a real idea of the product. A bit more just on the centre. It is quite tacky, which is probably why it's not the easiest thing to blend out, which is another reason why it's probably good to have more of like a hydrating moisturiser underneath or primer. I feel like that looks really, really good. This is literally what I wanted the eavesdrop foundation to be like. That looks really nice. I hope it powders down well. Okay, so I just went ahead and added a little bit of my Bye Bye Under Eye under my eyes, which is why I now look like I'm made out of wax. I'm made out of other things too. Filler, hair extensions, fake nails, not just wax. So now I'm gonna go in with the AOA Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder. You all know my feelings about pressed powders. I'm not into them. So you might be thinking, well, why the hell did you buy one then, Steph? Because I've tried out all the other powders that they've done, so I thought I would just go for this one. Seems quite finely milled. There's a hair on my face. I do really like how this base looks. Might be famous last words, I might powder it down and go, what the hell is that on my face? But how this looks on my skin right now, I really, really like. Okay, that is adding texture. It's not too bad, but it, I'm noticing more texture on my under eyes than normal. I'm quite lucky, I don't really deal with too much texture on my skin. This is emphasizing that more. I might even try another powder, just like one of my usuals, just to do like maybe half of my face. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna powder down with the AOA powder on this side. Doesn't look too bad. Does look more textured here than I would normally look, but um, it looks all right. But I'm now just gonna try it with my usual and try it with that instead. I'm leaving my cheeks pretty bare right now just because I am gonna be using a liquid highlighter. I think I'm gonna leave it quite sort of glowy and healthy looking just because I feel like this won't look that great if I do mattify it down too much. The way the powders made my under eyes look, I'm not really into it. I mean, I've tried this concealer with so many other powders and the majority of the time it works really, really well with them. This one isn't the worst, but I'm not that into it. I do feel like it looks pretty good on this side though. I really do feel like it looks pretty decent. So not too bad, not my fave, but not bad. So like I said, I have a liquid highlighter to try out. This is the Glow Baby Liquid Highlighter in the shade Golden Rose. This one is $1.55, so this actually goes to charity. They do loads of different things like this. Like some of the products are a little bit more expensive because the extra goes towards charities. Let's see what you got. Oh God, I'm like covered in it. I've tried out some of their liquid dropper highlighters and they're actually really, really nice, so I'm excited about this. Oh, that feels good. It feels kind of gel-like almost. Uh, it's not too intense, but there's, there's a little bit of something going on. I'll take something, I'll take something over nothing. So I'm just gonna dot that on my cheeks. Like I said, I didn't really powder down my cheeks at all. Just kind of like around them. So let's see how we go. That's one of the good products from AOA. That is like one of the gems. I, I just know it is. I've tried out, <coughs> I'm choking. I've tried out enough highlighters in my time to know when something's gonna look good. And the way that that's just blending into my skin looks really, really nice. It's just seamless and it actually kind of makes my skin look a little bit more airbrushed where I've put it. A lot of these were out of stock as well, so I was really lucky to get my hands on one of these. Uh, and I get why. That's such a nice liquid highlighter. Get it. Oh, my belly's rumbling. I have a prawn sandwich downstairs. Okay, question of the day today from me. One of those pointless questions that I always do. What is your meal deal of choice? I, I, I love a mixture. However, prawn sandwich, yeah, skips or salt and vinegar McCoys and then usually just to like get my money's worth like an innocent smoothie or something or maybe a Mountain Dew or a Dr. Pepper or like one of the funny Fanta flavors like sometimes they have the green ones and the blue ones but yeah, prawn cocktail sandwich, prawn cocktail crisps, yeah. What's yours? Let me know. Let's all judge each other on our meal deal picks. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this makeup now. So now I have this palette here from the A2O brand that I mentioned, and it's called the Lotus Contour Palette. And I also have the highlighting palette as well. This one's called the Majesty Palette. I don't really remember what this looked like. I'm hoping it has like a bronzer. Packaging's quite nice. Kind of looks like this has already been swatched. This, tell me this doesn't look like it's already been swatched. Like, can you see where the light is? There you go. That looks like it's already been swatched, right? I, it's a little too late now. I'm gonna put it on my face anyway. Hopefully, hopefully those fingers are all good. I've had worse things on my face, as we all know. Amazon makeup. Um, I feel like my face can take pretty much anything. So I'm gonna start off by taking this shade here, which is like the lighter brown shade, and maybe do a little bit of contouring with that. I don't wanna go in too hard. 
So I think it'll give me like a soft little shadow, which to be fair, it actually does. That's actually a pretty good color to be honest. That looks like it's almost too light to be any kind of bronzer or contour for me, but it's just giving me something soft. I'm a natural girl now. I'm so natural. That's actually not bad. Then I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here for bronzer. Let's see how cool toned it is actually. These really don't seem that pigmented, but it's kind of good. I'm just gonna tap some of that onto the higher points on my cheeks there. Nice. This is actually really good. So far, this might actually be the most successful Shot Miss A video I think I've done because apart from the eyeshadow, which to be honest, didn't blend how I wanted it to, but I still quite like how it looks. I feel like this is all looking really, really good. Sweet. Okay, so speaking of eyes, I'm gonna follow up with doing that green on my inner corner before I forget. Now, I don't have a clean brush, surprise, surprise, so I'm gonna make it clean by just wiping it. I'm manifesting a clean makeup brush right now. Is anything showing up on my face? Okay, the, it's kind of there. Like there's definitely green on my inner corner, but I am gonna highlight that with a ton of highlighter in a minute just to make it pop. Just kind of looks like a snot color instead. I was hoping it'd be more of like a super intense neon. It's just like, I've just got bits of snot on my inner corner, but it's cool. Honestly, snot on your inner corner is about to be all the rage. I am telling you, you heard it here first. Yeah, this palette ain't that good. I don't mind the eye look, but the product's not that great. Next, uh, shock here. Massive shock. I bought too many highlighters for my two cheekbones, but I can't help myself. Ooh. So this is the Illuminate Pro from Amuse. It's in the shade Iconic. This actually looks banging. Let's put it there. Oh man. That actually looks sick. I almost wasn't gonna even use that one today, but that actually looks, I'm giving you the worst swatches here. It's like I'm just flexing my muscles, my little string beans. Maybe if I do it, here. Look at that. That's nuts. Ugh, I just felt my veins then creep me out. I also have that Majesty palette that I mentioned, the one that was like the contour palette, and they've got a bunch of really nice different shades in here. Oh my God, these all look so good. How am I supposed to choose? So that one's a little bit more kind of thin in consistency. Feels good though. The other one felt a little bit more chunky. These feel a bit more smooth. Like, so you can see it just there. These look so good. And then I also have this palette here, which again, I looked at this so many times and I must have bought like one of the last ones because it was going in and out of stock constantly. This is the Santi Ultimate Glow Face Highlighter Palette. This shade up here looks so nice. Please be nice. Oh my God, that is intense. <laughs> Literally so many emotions in this video. Whoa. Oh my God, that is so icy. Let me try this one here. I think that one's gonna be too dark for me, but what the hell, man? That is actually nuts. Oh my God, I also have something else. Jeez, I, why did I buy so many products for my tiny little face? I have this palette here as well from Amuse. I'm just gonna swatch some of the highlighters because I know you guys, that's what you're wanting. That looks good too, that looks really good. I'm gonna take a bit of this kind of, I'm gonna take a mixture of these two, you know, to add a bit more color onto my cheeks. Why the hell not? Nice. This is all, all of this stuff is actually so good so far. The only thing I am noticing is a little bit more texture on my cheeks, but I'll deal with that later. So now for highlighter. I have too many to try. <laughs> Literally the most first world basic bitch problem ever. I have too many highlighters to try out. Wah. I'm gonna go in with the Pro Illuminate one first. So let's try this guy. I'm using a Kiko 56 brush. I don't know where my highlighter brush is. My fave. Yo, I am tapping so much excess of that off and that is just, hello, hello, everyone wave to my cheekbones. That's nuts. That's insane. And it's obviously picking up with the um, liquid highlights that I have underneath as well. Dude, yeah, hell yeah, that is bang on. It's so, so intense. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I'm gonna just go lightly over with my foundation brush just to mesh it into my skin a bit more. Yes, mate. Okay, let's now try the, I kinda gotta try them all, haven't I? Let's try out maybe this one. I feel like that's a pretty good color. So let's go in with this one here from the Majesty palette. And I'll go above my brow bone with that. I made sure to tap off my brush quite a bit as well. 
in between. So that one's softer, quite a bit softer, but it still looks damn good. This one maybe looks a little bit more textured on my skin. You might be able to see just there, but I do have a spot there, so that's not really gonna be helping the situation. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more of the lighter one, the one just above it, just to see what that one's like a bit. I mean, I'm, I'm glazed right now. Do need to mattify my face down a little bit because that is looking a bit more dewy than I would maybe like. Looks just very kind of shiny on camera, but that highlighter is sick. All of them, they're all great. I'm then gonna take a little bit, I have to be very, very careful with this one because this is literally like silver. I'm gonna take some of that light shade and just dot that right on the end of my nose. That is, oh my God, that is actually so intense. Middle finger, of course, for you all. Oh, just gonna tap that in. I have literally barely used any of what I just put on my finger. I'm gonna keep it for it. Oh my God, that is full on. Those highlighters are all banging to be honest. I think my favorite is this one. Just, I just think it looks so good. But yeah, they're all good to be quite honest with you. So now for mascara, I have this one again from AOA. This is called the Naturally Color Coated Lashes. Is that what it's called? Wisp Mascara. Well, I think that's just like a weird slogan thing on the side. Either way, it's this one and it costs a dollar. What is the dollar worth right now compared to pounds? One US dollar is 71 pence. 71p. Cheers, mate. So yeah, this is like 70p, basically. That's madness. The, the wand is not what I like to see. This is like the most basic mascara wand you could possibly find. I find that these ones never really do much to my lashes, but we will see. Maybe I'll eat my words. I tinted my lashes myself recently and I'm just like, I need to do that all the time. Okay, it's not, I'm not wowed. I don't think I'm going to be wowed, but it's doing more than what I thought it would. I thought it was gonna kind of just do nothing, but after a couple of swipes over my lashes, it is really starting to grip them. I swear most mascaras that market themselves as wispy, I swear it's just like a fancy word for, hey, this mascara is not gonna do too much, but it's gonna make your lashes look a little bit better than what they would naturally. And I feel like that's what this mascara is doing. It's not done anything crazy to them, it's just kind of done enough to them. You know, curled them a little bit, lengthened them a little bit, tinted them a little bit. So I wouldn't recommend it as a standalone product, but for 71p, that really, it's good for 71p. So now I'm gonna go with my setting spray. So this is the A2O UHD Pro Setting Spray. It says ultra high definition, long lasting matte finish. I mean, you know me, I never normally want a matte finish, but I'll kind of take it right now because I do just wanna get rid of a little bit of that shine. Ooh, the mist is actually quite nice. What this reminds me of is when you go to the toilet after someone else has been to the toilet and they've tried to cover up the smell by spraying like some random just air freshener thing. And it's like, you get like the top notes of floral and the base notes of just toilet. That's what it smells like. So let's put it on my face. Yeah, I can confirm that is fully what it smells like. At first you're like, ooh, and then within a split second you're like, Oh, so I'm just gonna spray more and more of that on my face while I talk about how much it smells like shit, basically. Looks quite nice though. I wouldn't say I'm looking more mattified. I'd say I'm actually looking more glowy, but we'll see if it maybe mattifies down. I, I really hope this wears down because it's literally all I can smell. It's like public toilet air freshener and dust. Oh my God, please can that smell go? <laughs> please. It says it has glycerin, castor oil, olive fruit oil. Maybe that's the smell, I don't know, but it also says it has essence. I don't like the essence. To be fair though, I really do kind of like how my face is looking. So what I'm gonna do now, again, before I forget, is I'm gonna go in with the highlighter palette. I'm gonna go in with that really, really light, um, I'm gonna go in with that really, really light highlight shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit on that same brush that I used for the green on my inner corner. Obviously this stuff is intense, so I'm gonna tap that off. And just highlight some of that. That actually brings out the green color even more. Oh God, that stuff stinks. Honestly, that stuff smells so bad. I like scented products. You all know I did, it's not news to anyone. That, I'm normally not fussed at all. Even if I don't really like the smell of something, I will normally just use it on my face, but this is lingering. Like I actually really, really like how it looks on my skin, but it, the smell is just lingering. Like, if it carries on, I can literally like feel it in my nose and I'm not even being dramatic. It's genuinely making me feel a little bit sick every time I breathe through my nose. So, I mean, unless that sort of fades away pretty quickly, I don't think I could use that because it does just make me feel ill. I do like how it looks though. I actually really do like what it's kind of done to my face. I don't know. Look good. Feel like you're gonna throw up because it smells so bad. 
I like that highlight on my inner corner though. I really like that. Okay. So now for my lips, I have two different lipsticks. I have a liquid lipstick, which I actually don't even remember buying. This is the Amuse Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade, I have no idea. Mm. Yeah, I have, I have absolutely no idea what color this is, but it's like, oh, 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 that is, oh, I rate that. It's like a cool tone brown. Would that work? It smells good. And then I also have this one from Muse as well. I've tried out some Muse lipsticks before. Some of them are really good. Some of them are really, really bad. So I'm just trying to break into this thing with my tweezers. Let's try this. It smells like crayons, which I actually don't mind. The smell of it takes my breath away though. Does anyone ever get that? It's like, it's really not in a bad way at all. But when I smell it, I'm like, it's like it dries out my throat, dries out my nose or something, but I can't stop smelling it, it's weird. I'm gonna just try it on my lips quickly just to see what it looks like. Cause I think I'm probably gonna be using the liquid lipstick. So we'll just chuck that on, see how it looks, just do it roughly. It sure feels pretty good. I've had some that feel just like so dry and just like nothing at all. This actually feels really, really good. I'm obviously only putting it on a tiny bit cause I am just about to wipe it off, but just want to see how it kind of sat on my lips. That's actually really, really nice. It's in the shade Dawn. So let's whack it off. Okay, let's try out this liquid lipstick. It smells like coconuts or something. Okay, the applicator I'm not a fan of. It's really just kind of like, just dry. Doesn't help with how shaky I am. Ooh, this little like turtleneck bodysuit, this hair and this makeup, it's just giving me like full on 90s vibes maybe. I don't even know. I don't look like this in the 90s because I was a fetus. I'm going with another layer because it's not very opaque. So I'm actually gonna go on quite thick with that. It's quite a comfortable formula anyway. I'm gonna see that thing where I don't really touch my lips together again. It's quite a comfortable formula. Why don't I just wait and talk to you in a minute? Because I can. Okay, it's quite sheer. Like I'm going in with another layer because it just doesn't want to stay on my lips really. I'm gonna not talk. I'm gonna sort out my hair. You know what? Save me and you some time. I'm gonna fix my lips maybe a little bit, add like another layer, sort it out. And then I'm gonna go in with some of these lashes. I've tried these out before. I love them. They do look different to how I remember them though. They're the Luella lashes, but I got a big um, pack of them for $5.80, which is five US dollars and 80 cents is four pounds and 11 pence. Four pounds and 11p for six packs of lashes. And yeah, what I've done with these before, cause they are quite big, I'll just cut them in half, use them as sort of three quarter length lashes. So yeah, I'm gonna pop those on do whatever I need to maybe do with my lips, and then I will check back with you guys for the finished look. I might even eat my prawn sandwich in between, woo. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look for now. My lips do feel kind of dry, I won't lie, but honestly, I feel like this actually looks pretty damn good. Oh, my legs just like chilling up here. I'm just like perched in the weirdest way. Where's my mirror gone? How am I supposed to see my stupid little face without a mirror? I, just, I feel like this all looks really, really good. I really do. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I do feel like my hair choices could have been better because I do just look like I'm kind of balding like this. So let me just flick this here just to remind you all that I do indeed have hair and it was done very badly, but it's okay. Yeah, I feel like, to be honest, pretty much everything that I tried was really bloody good. So it's currently 10 to three in the afternoon, so it's not super early. I do have some other work bits to do later on today, so I will need to change my makeup up, but I am gonna wear it for at least a couple of hours. It's really not gonna be the longest amount of time, but I will wear it for a few hours just to see how it kind of works on my skin. Right now though, like even down to like, there's a, there's a false lash on my finger, even down to my smile lines, nothing has sunk in there. Um, so I'm really, really impressed with this. Oh, and the eyeshadow palette. I wasn't really clear on the eyeshadow palette, but it's okay, it looks all right. Overall, I'm actually buzzing about how this looks. I really wasn't expecting it to look this good. So yeah, I'm not gonna go and do a little bit of work for a few hours, and then I will check back with you guys and show you how it all looks. All right guys, it's a little bit later, not ages later. It is currently, well, can you even see that? Just gone, or just about to be half past seven. So I've had everyone for what? I cannot do maths right now. Four and a half hours-ish. So not a long period of time. But as you can see, my liquid lipstick has worn off quite a lot just from like eating and stuff. As soon as I got my lips wet, it was just crumbling. So yeah, not the most long lasting liquid lipstick. I would probably wear this to like line my lips because that obviously, as you can see, why am I swearing at you? As you can see, it all seems to have stayed in place on the outer part of my lips, but on the inside, no. Maybe I could literally just like do this. Fill it in with this. Might work, might not. 
Mm. Anyway, so yeah, the liquid lipstick's not worn so well. Everything else though, I really, really like this combination of base makeup. I'm actually so impressed. Like the eyeshadow palette, I'm like, eh. I like how it looks, but whatever. I'm so kind of thrown off by this. I changed my hair a little bit, by the way, because it was just becoming even more of a mess. Like the lips, I could take it or leave it. The eyes, take it or leave it. I do really like the lashes though. The base makeup though, all of it together, I'm like, Whoa, okay, this is actually kind of great. I feel like it's mostly the BB cream. Like the BB cream with the primer and then also with that setting powder and the bronzer and the contour and the highlighters, like all of it, all the face makeup is actually bang on. Like even looking at my crusty ass lips right now, they they look bad, but all of my base makeup still looks so good. I know I've not even had it on for very long, but I'm just amazed at how good it looked, even at the start. I'm just really bloody impressed to be honest. Um, I wasn't expecting it to turn out this good. I mean, again, if you ignore my lips, but otherwise I'm really buzzing about it. So I'd probably say the products that I didn't like were of course the liquid lipstick, the eyeshadow palette, not that great. I mean, that's probably it. Apart from the funky smell that came out of this guy, I liked how it looked. So otherwise everything's kind of pretty great. So let me know what you guys think of this makeup look or Maybe not the crusty lip makeup look, the one before. Let me know what you think of that makeup look in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tried out anything from Shop Miss A. Let me know your favorite meal deal. That is like the most important question of all. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, I know a lot of people say this, but there are so many of you that watch my videos that aren't actually subscribed. So if you would like to make a little 28 year old person from Cornwall very very happy please consider subscribing if you do like my videos if you want me to do any other kind of videos let me know because I'm open but anyway that is it from me I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye doesn't really have the wow factor I thought it would oh, okay I'll stop doing that